Most people just call me Bobby. <laughs> uh, I've been a member of the Black Cat Poets for a long time, and as of recently, uh, involved with Here Here. Here Here. Here Here. Uh, let's try that again. Here Here. Here Here. Here Here. Here Here. Here Here. Anyway, poetry is growing here in town exponentially, uh, or really, uh, all sorts of venues are cropping up all over the place, and people are reading all over the place, and, and the talent is absolutely magnificent. If you get a chance to go check it out, go do it. And, uh, you know, we can, we can owe a lot of this to people like Lois, you know, who have, uh, uh, you know, kept us, kept us uh, on the straight and narrow as, as far as, uh, as uh, you know, producing decent stuff to go ahead and listen to, and, and uh, I know, I know, uh, uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought. Anyway, uh, I was I was looking at uh, I was looking at uh, Lois's books out there. She's she's got some sparrows on the cover, and, and, and I have uh, uh, a poem that I wrote recently that I call Sparrows too, and, and uh, this is I guess just my version. They appeared before me at my feet, round fluffy little masses, feathered cherubs, delft the wing, standing together in mass to look like tattooed fat ladies in feathery Walmart spandex. And it would seem to my senses it is here that they overfeed and become in rapid transition, pear-shaped little shuttlecocks with fat feathered asses. And they will eat anything small, and somehow stuff it all somewhere, anywhere, under all those feathers. And it is here they live and spend their moments, filled to the brim with bread and potato chips, little chunks of hot dog with mustard, jagged pretzel and cook, cookie shrapnel set loose by a careless bite. And there they stand, now stuffed to fluffy and too fat to fly, and wait under this bench and practice foul cuteness. Ah. on anyone and everyone who is willing to watch as they, like us, kill themselves with all the goodies nature can't provide. <laughs> <laughs>